In 2013, the arms deal update appeared in CS, which changed not only Counter-Strike, but the entire gaming industry forever. Skins have become an integral part of the game, a way to express your own individuality as well as a way to make money from it. If we reason cynically and pragmatically, this industry only exists because people buy and sell skins. The first major was organized precisely because of the money raised from the sale of skins, which were sponsored by Valve. To organize this event, besides the skill of PRO players, betting on teams, the excitement of cheering for the team from your country, there is an important driving force, the sale of merchandise. And skins and stickers of your favorite teams are nothing but CS2 merchandise. But at the same time, the language will not turn to say that someone is cheating someone, because everyone gets what they want. Those who are interested in money earned on skins, and those who are interested in image and hype, get both. The world of skins is multifaceted and diverse, but among all this variety, you can single out one thing that occupies a special position. It is knives. Hi everyone, and today we're going to have a not cool conversation about cold weapons in CS. And before we start cutting to the truth, subscribe to the channel, put a like, and believe it. See the promo code on the screen? Don't wait for a lucky chance, luck is already on your side. Enter the promo code on our website and collect top loot from GG Drop. Have fun hunting, bro! In ancient times, when future humans descended from the trees to solid ground and began figuring out how to get sustenance, they turned their attention to sharp shards of rock, the prototype of modern knives, which played a crucial role in their survival. So, if Darwin's theory is to be believed, knives are hardwired into our genetic memory. But that's not the only reason knives are the most expensive and prestigious skins in CS. There are a few main reasons why the knife is the most important. From a visual standpoint, piece of player gear. First, the knife is the only weapon that stays with you in every round and every roll throughout the game. All other skins are limited by either the side you're playing for, the amount of money at the start of the round, or your team's strategy. In addition, running while hauling is much faster, and consequently it is always in full view of your teammates. And they have plenty of time to admire your favorite gadget. And knives, unlike other skins, can have different animations and sound effects. Because if the AK is for $50 and the AK is for $100, Siri is only differed by the picture and all the animations remain default, then knives, thanks to the variety of shapes and animations, can perfectly decorate gameplay. And another important reason to get a good knife is that no matter how cool the highlight is, if you pull out the default knife afterwards, you'll look like a low, let's put it mildly, it'll blur the whole impression. In addition to aesthetic functions, knives have a practical use. They can be used to kill. In order for the beauty of your skin and your skill level to be fully appreciated, you should learn how to wield this cold weapon. Knife duels in CS2 are very rare. They usually take place in Fisite knife rounds, where the winning team picks a side. On some maps, such as Nuke, a lot depends on it. Once in a while, such duels happen in matchmaking as well. In a knife fight, the winner is not the one who struck first, but the one who knows the only right tactics to win. How to win in the knife round the knife in CS2 has two types of strike, cutting, LKM, and stabbing, PKM. The first one is faster, hits farther, but does less damage, so beginners often try to hit only with stabbing. But the slashing attack has one more thing. The first touch deals more damage than all the others, 34 XP. The winning tactic is very simple. While at a distance from the enemy, give him two slashing blows and then approach him and kill him with a stabbing blow. This way the enemy won't be able to take off most of your health at once. Having trouble remembering the difference between stabbing and slashing? Then always remember a simple formula before a knife duel. Left, left, right. This is the most advantageous combination of stabs with different mouse buttons. How much damage do knife strikes do? A stabbing blow to any part of the body except the back knocks out 55 XP to a player wearing body armor and 65 without it. A stabbing blow to the back is flying in any case. A slashing blow to the back takes 90 XP without body armor and 76 with it. In all other cases, 34 XP is taken by the first touch and 21 XP by all subsequent touches. Valve never added knife duels to matchmaking or premiere mode, but they still happen even there, such as when both players run out of ammo, or there's the option to stab your opponent while he's reloading. Killing with a knife in CS can undoubtedly be called the ultimate skill. It is insanely spectacular and at the same time as risky as possible. That's why the game itself motivates players to take this risk by rewarding them with $1,500 for a knife kill. 
Knife killings are especially spectacular on the ABM stage, because in addition to spectacle and spectators' delight, it seriously boosts the economy and ruins the enemy's morale. It's hard not to burn when you get stabbed in front of hundreds of thousands of fans. Each successful knife kill on the PRO scene is unique in its own way. The most exciting are the highlighters, in which players use cold weapons tactically and win important rounds with their help. For example, at this point, it was two knife kills that helped the Danish Astralis team to pull away from their opponent. In the pistol round, Nikolai Device Ritz used up all the ammunition in his firearm and switched to cold weapons. Even in such a difficult situation, he dealt with his enemies professionally. He jumped on both opponents with a knife and brought victory to his team. But most often, CS players pull out a knife not because of tactical necessity, but to taunt their opponents. In this way, they undermine their confidence and show that the game is already in their hands. Particularly reckless players pull out the knife even in the most important rounds at the biggest tournaments. Denmark's Christian Kaunfig Vinica could have simply put a bullet in his foe's back, but chose to stab him in an incredibly dangerous one-on-one -on -one situation when the game had already gone into overtime. Sometimes players try to stab the opponent in the back, but at the crucial moment something goes wrong, after which the opponent turns around and makes an easy fragment. Imagine how disappointed Dennis seized Costin was when he missed his opponent's back with his knife by a pixel, and instead of killing him instantly, he only wounded him. This is the whole risk of such actions, because the slightest mistake will immediately turn you from a hero into a laughingstock, making you a decoy. Since all knives in CS do the same damage, hit at the same distance, and take the same time to unholster, the most important factors that determine the coolness of a knife are its appearance, animation, and how much your friends and teammates will freak out out if this knife suddenly appears in your hands. When it comes to the most stylish knives in CS from my perspective, I would highlight two of them. The first is the Butterfly. It is unique primarily because of its animations. She has two animations of reaching and three animations of looking, which together, when constantly tilted, create an infinite number of variations, and you can never guess what the next movement will be. The animations of all the other knives look much more boring and can get boring, but it's almost impossible to get tired of the Butterfly swoop animation. All these knife somersaults create a subconscious feeling of your skillfulness. Because in life, to twist the butterfly like that, you need a lot of training. And yet the king of knives, in my opinion, is the Karambit. This knife appeared in the game in the distant 13th year and looked so brutal and cool that in the future it became almost impossible to find a game in which there was a cold weapon and there was no analog of Karambit. It certainly won't outdo the butterfly in the incredible dance it gives off when you spam the inspection, but it doesn't need to. It looks much more confident and dangerous in the hand, and it also has a more pleasant sound when pulled. The most expensive knife in CS2 right now, it is considered to be the Karambit Hardening Pattern 387. This is the best pattern possible, full blue, virtually flawless. As straight from the factory, there is only one copy. In the 21st year, the owner of this knife was offered $1.5 million in bitcoins for his device. Not thinking long enough, he immediately refused. The thing is that for some collectors in CS, money does not play a decisive role, but the possession of a unique thing warms their soul. It's even kind of nice to realize that not everything can be bought for money. Write in the comments what your dream knife is and which one is your top pick. Subscribe to the channel, put a like, and see you in the next videos. Have a great skating rink.